Continuing with our lesson on measures of central tendency. So we're asked to find the mean, median, and mode for the following data. So what is the mean of 11, 12, 13, 15, 15, 17, 18, 18, 19, and 20? So to find that, so we just add all the observations. Then divide the sum by the number of observations. So here we have 10 observations. So we divide the sum by 10. So the sum of the observations, if you, go, you are going to use a calculator to add these, then you're going to get 158. So 158 divided by 10 will give you 15.8. So the data set has a mean of 15.8. Now for the median, since there are 10 observations and n 10 is even, then we're going to have two middle values. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the fifth observation, so the fifth observation and the sixth observation will be our two middle values. So to find the median when n is even, we just need to add the two middle values. then divide the sum by 2. So our median is just 16. Okay, and then finally, for the mode, this one is easy because we're just going to inspect our data set. So which values occurred the most number of times. So here, 15 occurred two times and also 18. So 18 and 15 both occurred twice in the data set. So means our data set is bimodal since we have two modes. So the modes are 15 and 18. So we're given the same data set, but this time we're asked to find another value okay, if there was another observed value and the, the new mean of the new data set is 15. So we have another observed value. So it could be inserted anywhere in the data set. Okay. So what is this x if the new mean is 15? So we know that the mean is 15. And to find the mean, we needed to add all the observations in the data set then divide it by the number of observations. But this time, our new data set will have 11 observations. So if we're going to add 
all the observations. Including the unknown value x and divide it by the new number of observations, which is 11, the result should be 15. So this means 15 times 11 is 165 is equal to the sum of this 10 plus that unknown observed value. So we already computed the sum of these 10 observations from earlier. So the sum is 158. So plus x means that x must be 7. So, the new observed value, the other observed value, must be 7 for us to have a mean of 15. Now, another example, what if the new mean, if there was another observed value, is now 16? So, 16 is equal to 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 15 plus 15 plus 17 plus 18 plus 18 plus 19 plus 20 plus x over all over 11. So 16 is the result of the sum of the 10 observations plus x all divided by 11. So here we're going to get 176 is equal to 158 plus x. So x must be 18. So the other observed value should be 18 for the new data set to have a mean equal to 16. Now, instead of the mean, what if the new median is 16? So, here, if our number of observations is 11, this is odd, it means that there will only be one middle value. And that middle value would be the six observations since 11 plus one is 12 divided by two is six. So means the sixth observation would be our median. So, The only way that 16 will be the middle value if that observed value is 16. Now, what if the new median is not 16 but is 15? So, means 15 will be our new middle value. So, here, we have 11 observations. So if this is the sixth, then that x should come before 15. So it could be any number less than 15, but can also be equal to 15. So example, if you're observed value is 9, then it would be written here. So since our observations are, in, in, are written in increasing order, so 9 would be our first observation, 11 would be our second, 12 will be our third, 
13 are fourth, 15 are fifth, and 15 is our sixth observation. So the new med if the new median is 15, then that other observed value would be a number less than or equal to 15. Now, what if the new median is not 16, not 15, but is 17? So, so our new median is 17. So, this would be our sixth observation, but here, is already the sixth observation. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six. So, but we want to have 11 observations. So if we have another observed value, it should come after 17. So it should be greater than 17 or even equal to 17. Sample. For example, you have another 18. So, 17 will still be our sixth observation. Or even if you have a number greater than 20, 21. So, 17 will still be our sixth observation. Okay? Regardless of the number being greater than 20. Okay? So, if the new median is 16, then the other observed value should be 16. If the new median is now 15, then the other observed value should be less than or equal to 15. But if the new median is 17, then the observed value should be greater than or equal to 17. Now, what if when another observed value is added in, to the data to the data set the new data set becomes unimodal so from earlier we learned that the 10 observations okay is by is bimodal since we had two modes 15 and 18 now this time when you add another observed value and the number of observa observations becomes 11, the new data set becomes unimodal. So for that to happen, then the observed value x could be any of 15 or 18. Since if you have that observed value to be equal to 15, then 15 will have a frequency of 3, while 18 will have a frequency of 2. So making 15 our mode. And then if that x, that observed value, is 18, then the frequency of 18 is now 3, while the frequency of 15 is, will be 2. So the new mode will be 18. So for the new data set to be unimodal, the mode should be either 15 or 18. So that observed value should be either 15 or 18. Now, if the new data set is still bimodal, then it means 15 and 18 will still be our modes. So for 15 and 18 to remain the modes of this data set, then we have to introduce other numbers. Other numbers. Okay? Not among these 10. Okay? So any so x could be any number not 
among the given values. So it could be 10, it could be 14, it could be 21 or so, and so on. So it could be a number less than 10, so it could be zero. So any number not among these 10. And for the last question, what if the new data set becomes trimodal? What if the data set becomes trimodal? Then 12, 13, 15, uh, 12, 13, 11, 17, 19, and 20 must have any of these 11, 12, 13, 17, 19, or 20 must have occurred again by that other observed value. So that other observed value could any could be any of these six. Okay, since if we have eleven as your obs other observed value, then the new modes would be eleven, fifteen, and eighteen, making the data set trimodal. 